Hello everybody, I uh, just wanted to make a quick little video of a couple things that I didn't mention in any previous videos and I wanted to do so. Basically just a couple uh, very simple mods that I've kind of been thinking about doing for a while and finally did. Um, one of them of course you can see is a drag chain setup which works really really well. Um, basically just made a little uh, thing of aluminum or set up a little piece of angle aluminum there for support on that back side and just mounted this right to this uh, piece of MDF and have a little a uh, couple little screw or screws and spacers to hold them um, onto the motor mount plates right there and that seems to have worked really really well I'm very happy with how it all turned out the other thing that I wanted to talk about is this right here which looks insane probably to you but what it is actually is it is a um, it is the fan motor out of a RC airplane that would be like an electric jet fighter you know kind of motor the reason I did this mod here is because of the fact that the DW660 uh, set up with the SuperPid that I have technically can go a lot slower than it originally was designed for so the that basically means that the internal fan is going to be spinning at a less optimum speed technically now you know I have differing opinions on whether or not that matters technically that means that you should probably are running less power through it so it probably isn't creating as much heat but on the same token I don't know and I figured it'd be a fun idea when I saw this uh, in a magazine to maybe build something like this and so I basically started this whole process of designing it and making it fabricating uh you know uh, a mounting for it and I'm still kind of it's still preliminary um, that's why there's um electrical tape that masking off the old uh, intake um, vents because now air comes in through the top and it comes out through the bottom but the cool thing is I have the speed control for that fan is right over here I just have a little Hammond uh, DIY box uh, made you know aluminum one and it's got the RC speed controller mounted in there and it's sandwiched right up against a pretty large um, I think this was used to be it, it was like a heat sink for an old CPU like a AMD K6 or something it's pretty small but it's pretty big for this application um, and then what we have right here is a little knob that is what's behind that or is a, um, a servo tester which also works for these types of um, speed controllers but I can turn on the fan uh, with this and adjust the speed so it, it's quite quite cool I'm gonna just turn it on right now and as you can see it's still pretty loud when you turn it on so it's not like I'm making like a quiet spindle thing where I'm running if I'm running the the DW660 at a slower speed the noise level is still very high but the trick is that I'm still pushing a ton of air through the whole system uh, even at low RPM so it's kind of more of an experimental uh, mod right now I really don't know of the real value of it yet but basically the concept is I have a temperature probe for the SuperPid and the plan is to once I mount it to the um, DW660 I plan on basically not running the fan on top and when I run a job that's a long a longer job uh, that you know at lower RPM I'm planning on basically uh, attempting to see how hot it gets and if that's a problem if it is a problem I'll I'll then implement using this fan and see how the difference between that goes so it's kind of one of those things that I've spent a total of I think thirty dollars on everything it was twenty bucks for the fan you know cowling and fan motor and everything uh, the speed control was I think like somewhere around nine dollars or so and I think it was like three dollars for the servo tester and the project box and the heat sink I had already so it was a pretty quick build I'm actually using a spare power supply right now for it but eventually that's going to get moved over to being used using the 12 volt power supply that's uh, in my uh, actual um, case but for right now it's using a separate power spot power supply just to be more or less uh, easy troubleshoot and everything 
So those are a couple mods that I've, I've worked on uh, in the recent past, and I'm pretty happy with the drag chain. Uh, that's been an amazing. It just it looks cool when you run the machine now. Uh, it makes the machine look so much more professional and everything. I, yeah, and the the fan thing looks crazy because it is crazy, but it's one of those kind of ideas that you know I just was like, hey, this sounds like a cool idea, and I I'm pretty sure I can do that, and so I did it. It seems to work. I just don't know if it's, you know, necessary. But it's a mod for science, you know. Maybe if I figure out whether or not it's valuable or not, that'll help out, you know, other people that are looking in at it. They're looking uh, for solutions in the future. So, thanks for watching. Bye.